Hey guys, this is Mark doing my product review on the Jocko convertible training bag. Um, I've had this bag for several months now and I thought, you know, it's been about the right time to finally do a product review. I know there's a lot of you guys who are wondering how this bag is, if it's worth, you know, the $120 or some odd amount that it is. And, uh, you know, now that I've used it for the past couple months, I definitely think it's, uh, it's time I can give it a fair review. Um, I immediately uh, was drawn to this bag as Jocko. It's one of those, uh, one of the bigger brands that's up and coming, and I, you know, you, you see it. A lot of the uh, the big name fighters have been using this product. I was actually in the market looking for a new training bag. Um, I was what I was really primarily looking for was a bag that um, was versatile in the sense that it had multiple pockets for me to put all the equipment I have um, and separation for you know the the post training gear you know a lot of times when you you're training for several hours there's going you're going to be bound to have some sweaty gross gear and having somewhere to separate that and put that away from all the rest of my gear that was definitely uh, something I was looking for um so this bag it, it kind of encompassed everything that I was I, I was wanting uh in my training bag uh first things first I'll go with the make of this bag here so like I said it's convertible it uh doubles as a duffel as well as backpack so a lot of people you know especially when you're lugging around quite a bit of gear they prefer the backpack which is a great option you know it's um, definitely better for your back and uh you know in uh, the long run there I personally prefer the duffel uh style I'm I'm not ever carrying it too long uh for my commutes to training or coaching so that's not a problem for me uh here you'll see it uh full length this is the duffel uh, format of the bag uh, whereas uh, right back here you notice there's a zipper uh, it actually has the backpack straps that will pull out and they'll, they hook to these nice little tabs down here where you clip it so it's very easy for the transition um, this is a great bag especially if, if you're wanting to bring your uh, training gear on on you know flights or whatnot there it's, it's super versatile in that way uh, like I said mine uh, is in the duffel format I just prefer that like I said, I'm not carrying my bag for too long, so that's not an issue. We've got uh, a couple major, I'll go over the major compa compartments here, I should say. Uh, you see here, one of the major selling features for a lot of people, myself uh, especially, is this uh, mesh kind of uh, netting here uh, compartment. It's separated from the main compartment. This is where you can put your wet gear, okay? So guys, you know, if you're, you're training hard, um, you are going to be sweating in MMA or martial arts, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, what have you. So it's definitely, you know, for bacterial reasons and just sanitary reasons, I should say, having this compartment is great. Also keeps your gear from stinking up. You can separate that wet, smelly stuff uh, after your training. That's one of the, the big, big uh, factors that sold me on this bag. I'll open this up here just so you can kind of see. Um, before practice, I like to have my towel in here. I sweat a lot, as you can tell. I've got the whole <laughs> beach towel going on, or uh, bath towel. I keep my jock strap right in there, and my backup tees that I usually tr uh, change into after practice. Here, uh, what I normally do is after I've sweated out in my gear, I'll roll it up in the towel, toss it in here, and it's at least it's kind of getting some air in while uh, while I'm driving back from training or. Uh, in between practices, what what have you there? So that's the bottom set portion of the bag there, that you can use while in the backpack format as well as the the duffel format. Uh, next, let's get into the major uh, component here, or the major uh, compartment, I should say. Sorry, on this bag here, you see we have a nice little uh, zipper here that opens up, and as you can probably tell here, looking in there is quite a bit of gear okay uh... one of the great things i really like is they, they took a lot of time in, in the details with this bag you can tell just you know just by holding this product uh... very high quality everything all the seams really really tight uh, knitting or sewing i should say i'm not i'm not an expert on that there but here you see just a little nice feature is uh... you've got a little compartment here where you can separate uh... some other gear that you're not wanting just loose in the main compartment and for me I usually put my uh, mouth guard in there. Sometimes I'll put my hand wraps in there, or um, if I have if I have any uh, things that I, I need just on on the go here uh, with my training, I'll put it put that in there. Um, in this main compartment, that's where the bulk of my gear goes in. Um, you you'll probably see that it looks like mostly striking gear here. I don't normally uh, do gi jiu jitsu, so I, there's no need for me to put my gi in here 
really that's rare. Sometimes I, I do and it, it still fits fine. That's not a problem. Uh, first things first, let's pull out uh, all the gear we have in here. So I have my 10 ounce gloves, Top King gloves here. Uh, great gloves to have. I use these primarily for bag work and pad work there. So these are always in my bag. Um, for MMA sessions, I've got my Hayabusa MMA gloves. I, I forget what these this this one uh, this version is called. Not important right now. We're just trying to show how much gear we can fit in this main compartment. I've got my twins yellow shins here, always in the bag. Like I said, the majority of the training I do is striking, uh, Muay Thai uh, primarily actually, and I uh, I coach that as well. I've got my <laughs> labeled with my last name here my Mantis Everlast Focus Mitts on standby, as well as for the sparring and some pad work drilling, I'll have my twin 16 ounces in here. So you can see that's, that's quite a bit of gear as is already there. And I also have, um, sometimes I like to do after, for my warm up or, or after my workouts, I'll mix in some skip rope or uh, jumping rope there, just to get a nice little burnout or it's a great warm up, which, whichever, you know, that's not really the important part here. <laughs> This may throw you guys off here. I like to keep my Lysol here. After training sessions, I always like to spray down my gear. Just, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of trading of sweat in the gym. So, you know, never a bad thing, guys, to disinfect your gear before and after training. That's just going to save everyone, you know, some, <laughs> some gross things that you may catch in the gym. So as you can see, quite a large compartment uh, in the main section here. I can fit a lot of gear in here. Um, it's there's there hasn't been a day where I haven't been able to get everything in here obviously for things like tie pads and stuff I'll carry those loose but as far as the day-to-day -day training um, equipment I need you can fit everything in here there's there hasn't been a day where I haven't been able to fit all my gear here I've even with with this uh, gear in here I've even been able to fit my gi as well as belt in there uh, so that's the main compartment guys you can see there nice and simple and now let's get into the uh, there's three more compartments in this bag. Uh, you'll see uh, it's on this side here you've got on the, with the Jocko label you've got a side compartment uh, and as well as on the other side symmetrical uh, we have the same exact uh, compartment there. Slight difference between the two I'll go over that in one, one brief moment. So let's open up this one here on the side closest to you first. One of the other features that really uh, came out to me that I was I was very impressed with with Jocko is this insulated compartment okay guys awesome I know a lot of you guys you know if, if you're having those long days of training where you need to bring you know whether it be shakes or some snacks and whatnot there this compartment here as you see it's got kind of like the uh, tinfoil looking insulation that will keep it warm or or cold um, I normally don't uh, have my my food and stuff in here so what I like to put is you know my spray deodorant, deodorant stick, uh, backup protein shake here. Always something good to have on the go, guys. You know, in between sessions, fuel up. And one of the things I love, uh, I don't know if all of you have, uh, are familiar with this here. A lot of you guys who train Muay Thai will be. You know, just the basic Thai oil. Anytime you have you know soreness and whatnot, there, great to to use. Uh, we won't get into that too much right now. But like I said, the first compartment here insulated. Absolutely awesome. I can't, can't tell you how much I love that here. Uh, let's get onto the top of the bag here. You'll see we've got a nice little zipper on, on the top here. This is uh, the soft uh, soft fabric on the inside here. Uh, similar lining that you'll see for a lot of sunglass po uh, back, backpack pockets. Okay, what I like to keep in here usually is my wallet or like I have my cell phone here with headphones there. It just keeps from anything getting damaged in there and it's it's very soft fabric so if you have uh, sunglasses or anything like that you want to toss in there definitely a great pocket to have so it's you know just these little features such as this that that uh, make a big difference in in the in the product to me and we have the last pocket just the very similar to the insulated pocket just on the opposite side this one here the only difference being uh, that it is not insulated okay as we open that up here You'll see there's little uh, mesh dividers. There's two mesh dividers on the side flap here. So if you have, for me, what I like to put in them, some band-aids, just something I like to have, just in case I get a minor cuts or whatnot. Never a bad thing to carry on you. And here, what I normally carry is 
ankle brace. Uh, for wrestling, I like to use the, the, the nice little knee brace or knee sleeve, what, whatever you want to call it there. It's kind of like a volleyball pad sort of thing. Um, I've tweaked my elbow a couple times, so something I'll always have is my elbow brace just in case it's feeling off that day. But, you know, just another nice addition to have. Some people, you you know, whatever you want to put in there, you can. Sometimes I'll have my hand wraps in here. As you guys can see, I didn't have any hand wraps at all, actually. I don't really like wrapping hands. That's kind of a preference there. But definitely, it's, it's something, uh, it, it's all preference. If, if that's something you want to have on, on hand, you can definitely fit, fit quite a few of them in here or whichever gear you're looking at. So, you guys, um, if I were to do out of 10, definitely 9.5, uh, if not 10 on this bag. Great durability. It's uh, I've had it for about 7 months now, I believe. Uh, no fraying, nothing tearing. Uh, the, the, the bag smells great because, like I said, you've got this, this mesh. Even on the main compartment here, you've got this... Uh, clear mesh uh, on that there so you're still getting airflow coming in there and I use this this uh, main mesh component or uh, compartment for uh, all the wet gear so I never have to worry really about the smell there so awesome bag guys if you're looking uh, if you're training you know on the regular basis you're in the gym quite a bit definitely a great investment I know $120 for a bag versus you know some thirty twenty dollar Nike duffel you know it's it's a substantial amount but like I said if you are serious about your training and you're looking for something that is going to be able to uh, carry all the gear that you do need and uh, you're going to be able to carry that and and work efficiently with that this bag is definitely the one to go so uh, I give it five stars ten out of ten on this one here and uh, yeah that's the review for the Jocko convertible training bag thanks guys